Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss why there is a minimum frame size for carrier sense multiple axis collision detection protocol. So first of all, uh, we are going to review some bullet point for this protocol. So uh, first thing is that this protocol doesn't use any acknowledgement process like uh, whenever a frame is sent no acknowledgement is sent by the receiver so now the question is that how is sender is going to decide whether that sent frame is received correctly or not so for that purpose when a node is transmitting something at that time that node also listening the channel so if a node is not listening what he uh, that node is transmitting so it in that case that node will conclude in the network there is someone else who is transmitting and it will conclude in a collision so as soon as they will find out that there is a collision in network they will abort the transmission okay so uh, this is by mistake i have repeated this point again so if entire frame is sent the, uh, and if a node is not uh, listen any uh, collision in the channel that node is not keeping any copy of that frame so if a entire frame is sent once there is no stored copy of that frame and once the node is finished with its transmission it will not monitor the channel like uh, when a, whenever that node send the last bit after sending the last bit it will not monitor the channel so now there is a constraint that if a sender want to send a frame in a network uh, that node that sender has to monitor the channel while sending the frame so uh, just have a look on this network so while it's sending if there is any collision that collision has to be reached this sender before sending the last bit so i'm giving you a scenario here let's say this sender start transmitting its frame and it sent first bit and other bits are on the way so when that first bit arrived here that node also start transmitting and so at this point of time two nodes are transmitting their data at the same time so it will result in a collision so if uh, this data signal are very weak jamming signal will be sent so because in carrier sense multiple axis collision detection jamming signal is sent whenever there is a collision so this signal this jamming signal this collision effect will be propagated back to the sender and when this sender will receive this effect it will find out there is a collision so the constraint is that a condition for detecting collision that when this effect propagated back to the sender this sender has to be in transmission mode because sender will listen the channel if it is transmitting so the condition is that when the effect arrive here this sender still must be transmitting so this is the condition you have to understand where the reason is that if this sender is finished with its transmission and after that if this effect is arriving here there is no use because after sending the entire frame sender is not keeping any copy sender is not monitoring the channel so if a collision is propagating to the sender the effect of collision is arriving here it has to be before sending the last bit so this is the core condition okay and so we are going to formulate this condition so we are taking two times one one is transmission time another one is propagation time so propagation time is a time taken by one bit to propagate from here to here and transmission time is a time taken by this sender to transmit entire 
frame. So what we are saying that uh, if we look at the propagation time, so when the first bit is sent, this first bit is transmitted from here to here, and we are considering that these two nodes are farthest node. The distance between these two nodes are more than other nodes. So this first bit will take time from here to here, one TP, and whenever there is a collision, that jamming signal will take the same time tp so the effect of collision will take total two propagation time and what we are saying if this sender want to see whether there is a collision while transmitting the frame sender still must be in transmitting mode so it means two multiply propagation time must be equal to transmission time like frame size must be uh, equal to the size for uh, if sender starts sending that frame it will take time that is equivalent to two times of propagation time so this is the formula you need to understand you need to remember so on the basis of this formula the minimum size used in carrier sense multiple access collision detection is used so if we use the standard value like in a standard ethernet propagation time is 25.6 microsecond so if we put this value here what we will get we will get transmission time equivalent to 51.2 microsecond so frame size what should be the frame size the frame size should be in this way when a sender will send that frame it should take this amount of time so if we see our 100 MB Ethernet so in case of 100 MB Ethernet in 51.2 microsecond how many bits will be sent so if we multiply this one with time we will get 512 bits or 64 bytes so this is the minimum frame size used in carrier sense multiple access collision detection thank you very much for watching